good day friends today we are going to discuss about the boiler uptake fire or the egb fire or you can say the exhaust gas boiler fire so in this one we are going to see about what are the reasons of the exhaust gas boiler fire what are the reasons uh, of you can say the uptake fire or you can say indications of it how uh, they happen and uh, actions to be taken and uh, the um, fire uh, in egb in detail so that's the uh, main theme of uh, this video today so now we are going to talk about exhaust gas economizer fire how it happened basically so the main reason behind this is about the flue gases normally passes through the economizer or boiler uptake and uh, these tubes are designed as a fin type the main purpose of the fin type is uh, basically to transfer the heat in a better manner okay so when the flue gases are passing through it it transfers the heat in a better manner and more heat will be transferred and the steam generation will be there okay so but what happened these fin types uh, they are causing the restrictions and uh, the large amount of carbon or the soot deposits are stuck on the fins and this is something which is called the soot deposits and along with these flue gases what happened uh, the soot deposits the unburned carbon particles they are also getting deposited on these tubes okay basically in the economizer and all and but what happened when this soot gets uh, with the hydrocarbon vapor uh the ignition temperature comes down about 150 degrees celsius so as the ignition temperature comes down in this range uh, what happen uh, your uh, boiler soot catches fire okay and once this fire happened and the main reason behind it because the soot temperature or you can say the self ignition temperature of the soot is on higher side but uh, along with the unburned carbon particles uh, or you can say the and deposited along with the soot this lower down the temperature to the uh, 150 degrees celsius the ignition temperature of it and then the soot fire started okay this is how the exhaust gas economizer fire occurred and in continuation with this as we can see over here the flame will appear in the economizer coil during the running of main engine uh, at sea uh, when the economizer is already in service and the water circulation is also going on okay so when we talk about the uh, fire any fire to occur uh, you have to have the uh, heat must be presented so in this case the exhaust gases or the boiler flue gases are the source of heat and uh, when we talk about the air so plenty of air available either in your, in, in main engine if you talk about the uh, exhaust gases you have the excess supply of oxygen uh, in a scavenger and when we talk about the boilers it is having already the excess air supply of it okay and uh, now the next thing is your fuel so when we talk about the fuel so this deposited unburned carbon residues or the soots uh, or the fuels these are the the main source of the fuel so all three things jointly uh, did the uh, fire okay when we talk about the uh, in next coming slide this slide uh, this continuation of that uh, this suits which are being formed uh, due to the incomplete combustion or uh, you can say why the incomplete combustion occurs so then you again the uh, use of the low grade fuel or the residual fuels uh, in the shipping industry it is also the one of main cause okay because the combustion is not being completed uh, with uh, this fuel you will have the residues always or the suits always okay so and when these suits are uh, getting more and more because of the maneuvering time or uh, you can have the uh, economic economy speed where you have to go uh, 
uh, in the slow ahead or or you can say the half ahead of it okay so then the chances are that because of the main engine various parameters uh, uh, you will not have the complete combustion of it okay so this is uh, going to cause the incomplete combustion and then two major things one is the incomplete combustion that gives you the soot and the unburnt carbon particles and the next thing is that the exhaust gas which is leaving the main engine is also having the less velocity so due to this also whatever the suits which are passing along with this exhaust gases these are also deposited into the this uh, fins and the spaces between the fins so this gives you the fuel okay or the unburned carbon fuel and the suit okay and when the heat is being available uh, air is being available so this makes the perfect mixture for the burning of this uh, mixture and uh, this causes the uh, exhaust we'll talk about the next coming slide so in this slide we will see about the indications of the exhaust gas fire what are the various indications as you can see now the smoke smell will be coming from the economizer that is one of the indication then overheat at the economizer body that is causing about the external casing or the uptake then the next one is the heavy smoke and the sparks will emit from the funnel this is was also one of the major indication of it and the sudden unexpected increase in the uptake gas temperatures and uh, you have the abnormally high stack parameter readings that is also going to give you so uptake temperature is also going to increase abnormally high so this is also the indication of VGE fire and of course if you have the uh, visibility or the smoke indicators or also so this flame visibility is also going to gives you the GV indication fire. okay now in this slide we are going to see about the preventive actions in case of the EG fire okay so as you can see these are the various uh, preventive methods which is being uh, done uh, so that the um, EGP fire should not occur. Okay, so first is your regularly inspect the boiler flame to ensure the correct air fuel ratio is being maintained and what will happen with this if this is there then the perfect combustion will occur and that will not give you any of the carbon residue or the complete combustion this gives you the clean flow gases. Then carry out the boiler burner and swiller routines as per the PMS. This gives you, assist you in having the perfect operational conditions or the um, complete combustion and finally the result in clean flue gases without soot. Okay. Regularly soot blow of the economizer and water wash periodically to remove the soot deposits. In case um, your deposition already occurred, then by following the soot blowing process, it is going to be removed or water washing whatever is being required so then also it is going to be removed so this is also thing which is being required for um, one of the preventive action then use proper grade of the fuel oil for the boiler residual fuels uh, inevitably it is uh, giving you the residues the suits or on board part carbon particles but when you are using the lighter fuels this is quite less okay or if the fuel is being treated properly then uh, and uh, the perfect combustion conditions are already there then you have the clean flue gases then avoid low load operation of the boiler for longer period this is also one of the main reason for the incomplete combustion or the air fuel ratio is not so correct and uh, the deposition also occurred then running boiler near full load periodically helps in expelling out the carbon depositions okay so if you have the carbon deposition this is going to uh, be removed if you have the boiler running in full load or main engine running in 85 percent of mcr so in that case what happened it will be thrown out due to the exhaust gas velocities also so this is uh, also keeping the uptake passages clean and clear and this reduces the chances of boiler uptake fire so in this slide we have seen about the preventive actions which is taken in case of the easy we talk fire. about now uh, this uh, shows you about the actions during EGB fire. So what all actions we are going to take? First action, inform to the bridge and chief engineer, take the permission to stop main engine. Okay, next, gradually slow down the main engine and then stop. This is also possible. Then the cool down of economizer by means of the boundary cooling. Very good thing. Circulation pump must be run, but if the large amount of water is lost, it must be stopped. Otherwise, it is going to go for the other hydrogen fire and other fires. Okay, so we have to keep always in our mind. Otherwise, the cooling process is done by the circulation of water. There is no heat source and the fire is out. So if this is the case, then the fire will be put out 
because of the removal of heat okay when economizer fire occurs never do shoot flow to the economizer this has to be kept in mind and it can cause if you do this one so this is having the potential chances of the hydrogen fire and once this is started then the melting down of the coil stack is also possible and it can cause the deformation of the tubes buckling of the tubes and intensive heat and the high thermal stresses formed at the economizer coil so we have to be very prompt and we have to do the actions in sequential manner so that we can save our boiler and save uh, the conditions uh, so that uh, the egb fire should not occur then the next slide we have to see how effectively we have to fight the economizer fire what are the steps included so as we have seen earlier the slowdown of the engine uh, that means uh, we are not going the sufficient heat the exhaust gases will be less okay uh, so the heat part will be less then shut out uh, shut off the oil oil burners if the uh, boiler is also running the oil burners are there we have to put it off draft fans dampers and air resistor this will not allow the air to go that means the heat is being removed and you have no air also there okay the raise water level full and blow down continuously so that to maintain good flow of water okay so we have to raise the water level full and then remove it that means what happens we are uh, getting it heated up and then uh, removing it that means heat is being removed whatever is there in that one and filling the new water filling the fresh water uh, or rather you can say distilled water which is being from the cascade tank and this maintains the good flow of water reduce boiler pressure by easing here if it is there you can reduce uh, by releasing the uh, your safety valve and the excess steam pressure will be released a spray water on the external casing of the uptake to cool down the affected area that means we are talking about if the uptake fire occurs then this is the main method of the boundary cooling okay so this uh, does the boundary cooling part of it and very effective a few times uh, starting and stopping of the main engine also to be done that means the blowing out of whatever the collected suits or the burnt suits which are there from the uptake so that it should not burn further so these are the effective measures which should be taken at the time of economy now when we talk about the uh, next part of it so you can see over here actions taken after the egb fire what happened uh, if you have the EGB fire we have already seen now what are the actions needs to be taken essentially after the fire occurred so this is something which is we have to cool down the ambient temperature we have to open the economizer cover uh, once it is cooled down sufficiently clean inside the parts of the economizer we have to inspect also and found out the defective coils and the tubes pipelines and we have to make sure that we can repair this one and then only we can use it or if needed the welding of the tubes or flooding of the tubes we have to do so that there should not be any water leakages or we should not lose the water and all the uh, your EGB should be in a stable and in the next slide we are going to see uh, what is the hydrogen fire on board ship how this EGB fire can lead towards this so uh, basically if you see that uh, when the fire causes the metal itself to burn out about at 700 degrees C. Okay, so the fire is in such a manner that the at 700 degrees C about the metal itself at burning, the steam is smothering or the soot blowing by the steam system or the water jetting system if uh, it is being attempted, this may cause the big hydrogen fire to occur. So whatever the steam which is being applied, it is dissociated basically into the hydrogen and oxygen and the hydrogen is flammable, catches fire and oxygen will support the fire. So this causes the acceleration of the fire. Once such a fire has been started, this resulting basically two kinds of fire uh, which uh, takes place. One kind is the iron burning that is a metallic fire in the steam and other is the hydrogen burning and this gives an exothermic way so this is really a devastating condition so we should not go for it okay so anyhow we have to prevent this condition to happen and this combined fire being self-supporting and lasting until the supply of steam is being exhausted why because it is basically dissociating the steam and uh, forming the hydrogen and oxygen and hydrogen is acting as a fuel so that means it is having sufficient fuel and heat is already there air is there oxygen is there so it 
continues on and on until unless everything is being exhausted so this is really a serious uh, issue and you have to think of it okay the primary objective of dealing this fire is to cool down the surface and burning the metal as quickly as possible so uh, by our actions we have to make sure the egb fire should not be converted into the hydrogen fire and if we will be able to control it we will be able to handle this fire in a very smooth manner so uh, whatever the explanations which i have given you for the egb fire is good and sufficient and you guys have understood this better so in the next coming videos i will be uh, giving you regarding the other uh, boiler descriptions and uh, any maintenance or survey part of it okay thank you